Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel on Need for Speed Online slash Need for Speed Edge. For those of you who didn't catch the live stream, uh, it was on Friday between like 3 and 4 p.m. Eastern. I discovered that I could actually finally download the files for Need for Speed Online. Um, the game actually shut down apparently in like 2020 or 2019 uh, through Nexon and Tencent, so... The game is ran by a community now in a very similar way to Need for Speed World. But I managed to get the files. I did a stream on going over the files. And after my stream, I decided to continue digging. And I said it would just make like an update video because I had to give my voice a break because I'm still getting over the lingering effects of COVID. So I wanted to make this video because this is an update to the project of Need for Speed Online. So <clears throat> I noticed in a Discord for Need for Speed Edge that someone said they wanted to be able to run the game offline, and I figured there's got to be a way. EA has had a way in pretty much all of their games to do that, and since this is based on Need for Speed Rivals, that's not going to be anything different. I don't like having this bunny. It's so annoying. Anyway, so I discovered a program called Strings, and what strings allows you to do is, as it sounds, dump the strings for an EXE that are inside of, well, any EXE. So what you end up doing is you just run this, and then it gives you all the strings. And I have the strings actually already dumped here. And I've been trying to figure out how to get debug info, because that will <clears throat> definitely help us friend zone spawn message. I like it would definitely obviously help us figure out uh how to, you know, run the game further, debug menu click. That's new. Job enabled is ranked. Unlock resolver. There's so many command line arguments for this game. It's ridiculous. Um it really is. Like this game has so many command line arguments and it I can't figure out if they work or not. But on the subject of online or offline driving around, and I don't also, <clears throat> you'll see gameplay here in a few minutes. Um, I don't know if the crappy graphics are just because it auto detects my computer's hardware, or if the crappy graphics are because I'm running it in offline mode. So I decided to do a little searching and I just searched the word offline. And it took me straight to EA launch offline mode which also had another line down below it called web mode SP offline. Those two arguments are all I needed. They are re legitimately all I needed. So what I did was I just created a text file called nfsol2.bat. And <coughs> what you do is you edit a text file by doing um, at echo off, because then it won't show you the command it's running, nfsol2.exe slash ea launch offline mode dash web mode sp offline. And then you just run the game. It's that simple. Um, you just double click the exe. Now I am going to have an issue with display capturing here in a minute. Uh, for the game. I just noticed that it doesn't have the pause button anymore. Oh, it was so useful though. <clears throat> anyway, it's going to run in like a windowed mode. I cannot get anything like a pause menu to show up or anything like that. I've been trying. I've also been trying super hard to get um, any kind of debug info to show up and I just can't get anything to work that way. But I'm going to wait with the black screen here until it decides to work because you know um obs decided to get rid of the pause button that i would totally use right here to let the game load it loads like shit <clears throat> it loads like shit i don't know if this is again because my computer hardware is just so low spec or if it's um, just going to load like this for everybody because of the commands I'm using. But again, we'll figure that out in the future. But as you can see, 
We do spawn in with a Lamborghini. You can actually look around with a controller. It works. It's pretty cool. Um, you can switch camera modes with the select button, but no like pause menu works or anything like that. You can drive around using the controller. It's pretty nice. <clears throat> it's very laggy for me because, again, I'm on a very shitty computer. But it does give you like oh, these little debug info things, at least a little bit of it. So, like, it's there. But I'd like to figure out these command lines further so I can, you know, pause the game, edit settings, change config settings, go from there. I got to figure out how to load the config file. Like, I still haven't figured that out. But there's a ton of things that can be done in this game or with these command line calls. And it's awesome. And what I'm thinking about doing is I'll download... Uh, do, 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 do. Visual Studio and install it on this computer uh, and I'll make a, a C-sharp launcher for this that allows you to play the game offline once I figure out all of this information. Uh, there are other things you can do. So like if we go CMD and we do CD ah crap CD ah crap I want the quotes, C colon slash modding games NFS edge <coughs> install NFSOL and we do NFSOL2.exe slash info. We can also get we can also get all the information about the game engine itself. So the only other thing that I had to do to get this to work was run these EXEs as admin every time they launch. That's the other important part of this. And I had figured that out because obviously the launcher runs as admin. So this probably has to run as admin. And this just shows us the version number or version information. Um, I'm wondering if I do like version info, what happens? Oops. <coughs> I don't think that's gonna do anything different to be honest with you but there is the config here. I need to figure out how to load this config file and maybe change it. Um, let's search the word config. So config INI is there. This bunny is so loud. I bet you it is just slash config and then config. So that didn't work. Uh, good to know. So if we do like slash config fig dot ini, it'll probably run our config. <clears throat> it'll run the ed whatever the default config is, which on my computer is probably going to look like crap. But again, it's about guessing and checking in the end on this because this is all new, at least to me personally. Um, and I want to mess with it. You know, it's a ton of fun. This is the stuff that I do. I mess with things. I mess with things that I'm interested in. I get them working and doing what I want them to do. I've also discovered some mod tools that'll allow us to mod this game uh, called Frosty, I believe, is what it was. It's a tool for modding uh, DICE game engine Frostbite. So that allows us to open the doors even more on this game. And I'll figure that out later too. There's also the NFS helper. There's the cinematic tool. I found the CDN stuff for the actual website. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. And I'm sure I'll figure out more and more as time goes on. Uh, oh, okay. That's all that's in the config. Well, that's useful. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, as more information comes out about NFS online or NFS Edge, or I figure out how to play the actual game because I can't make a QQ account. I hate this damn bunny. It is so loud and obnoxious. Um, come steal my bunny and uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Just don't make a stew out of it. That'll make my girlfriend really upset. But come steal my bunny. It's all yours. If you're in Ohio and you want a bunny rabbit, I have a lion head. You can have it. It's only six months old. It's all yours. Take it. Please. Please. Take it. Take it. I don't want it. Take it. I don't like having bunnies. This thing bites me. Take it away.